welcome teachers uh, this is first video for Desmos tutorial in this video I'm going to talk about how you can set up some Desmos classroom activities I know some of you are already aware about these but there are like Desmos calculators and Desmos classroom activities so this video is specially for math teachers and the the beauty of this tool is like even if you don't have video live lesson going on you still can assign your students some tasks some activities some homework through this platform and you can send them feedback and you can track their performance live while they are doing so let me show you on the next page what the students will see on your dashboard like these are the students and you can just uh, change their names and uh, that's my dashboard actually so there are options snapshots summary teacher student so these are different pages on this slides or whatever you say so this is one activity for example tick 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 you can see your student have done correct things or missed something or not correct that's how you can track so what you have to do the first thing is please go to Google and search teacher.desmos or just type teacher.desmos.com and you will be taken to that page where you can see here. So if you just type teacher desmos, you will be taken to this page. So that's the web page for teacher.desmos. So there are options for you create account or sign in. You can create your account if you don't have or you sign in with your google id or any school particular ids now once you signed in what your page will look like that's what i'm going to show you so that's how you will see so this is my account you can see some information about desmos there are webinars going on daily for you to learn so but I want to do it so quick video so that you can get benefit in less time. So these are the ready-made activities. They are actually created by Desmos or Desmos experts on different areas like geometry, calculus, functions, everything. So they are really interactive. You can you can see this. For example, if I click on linear function, there are ten activities for that. So. You can see that what you have to do first of all you choose your activity choose your to topic and choose one activity for example polygraph lines or put the point on the line match my line whatever it is let's say this yeah so this is a part of algebra what you have to do you need to create the class code for each class don't give same code to different sections so what you have to do you have to create your class code from here and that's how you will see that for example this is something very very old activity which i have used maybe last year see the code is inactive but i'll just show you how this activity will be so you can just share the code from here and uh, you will be taken to this activity like that let me show you so once you have created the class code you share with your students so once it's a student preview that's how view dashboard or you can just share here click this student link see you can show to your students or take a picture and send it to your students or just copy from here and paste in their emails or how you are going to communicate with them so this is the first thing what you have to do set up a classroom activity which are free of cost okay if you cannot find any particular activity which you are looking for what you have to do you just need to use uh, Google search engine for that particular activity for example I'm doing something on trigonometry so you just type trigonometry Desmos activity so 
So this will actually help you to find out some activity which are not available on Desmos platform. Okay, they are created in, with the help of Desmos, but they are not available on that page. So because teachers have their own websites, so they publish over there. So you can see here practical trigonometry, introduction to trigonometry, how. Go there and again this page will take you to the create class code. So you create your class code, share with the students and just see how students are doing. You can send them feedback. I'll show you how you can send them feedback. For example, this is my activity which I have used on 29th because this is really useful for you. If you don't know these tips, probably you will end up that we are using this something, but we don't know how to use exactly. This is how you can see. For example, you know this particular student did something wrong here. So you click it here while your live lesson and you can see so that was student was supposed to. and you click it here and you can send the feedback like I have sent one to my students what you have to type what they need to do whatever and make sure students sign in so that they can go back and uh, they can read your feedbacks of course it is not necessary for students to use uh, to log in or sign in it's optional but if you recommend then it's good so at the end, end of the activity you can see their performance and you can share with your students that's how they are doing so in the history you will be able to see your uh, all activities what you have done in past two months or three months like that so give a go search one activity or just take something from their own uh, platform which are ready-made like modeling quadratics whatever and give a go let me know how that helps you thank you maybe next video i will show you how to copy and paste some of the things which you can use to create your own activities Thank you.